This is Shelley Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live on location in New York City. I have with me Mark McDonough, Combi Matrix. It's a publicly traded company, CBMX. Mark, welcome to SNN Live. Uh, thank you, Shelley, and thank you for having me on. It's good to have you. Let's get an overview on Combi Matrix. Okay, so Combi Matrix is a CLIA laboratory based in Irvine, California. And we do genetic testing in four specific areas. We do postnatal genetic testing on kids with developmental delay or in the NICU shortly after birth where there's concern over developmental delay. We do recurrent pregnancy loss testing where we'll test the genetic tissue of a woman who's had multiple miscarriages, trying to figure out what exactly is going wrong as 60% of all miscarriages are caused by a genetic abnormality. We do prenatal invasive diagnostic testing where we can test the amniotic fluid or the chorionic villi sample from a mom and help her get a better picture of the genetic picture of the unborn fetus. And lastly, a new space that we just jumped into this year that we're very excited about is fertility testing, where we're able to test the biopsy from an embryo and by determining if there's anything wrong with that embryo, help implant the embryos that are going to be normal and that way we can increase the implantation rates while concurrently decreasing the miscarriage rates for these families who are spending twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 on an IVF cycle. So a lot of exciting things in the genetic world right now. You're in big markets. There's nothing, I don't think you mentioned a market that's any less than a billion. Uh, that's a great point, Shelley. We look at the market as being well over a billion when you take the international uh, aspect. We've subsegregated uh, each of these markets individually, and we conservatively estimate it to be about 625 million in the United States alone. So, for a small company right now that is at uh, 10 million dollars in revenue, we see a huge upside potential, and we don't have to be the dominant player to craft a great business out of this. You're a lab, so you really don't need FDA approval, but you probably need state approvals for something. Am I correct? Yeah, you are correct. And to that point, just last month, we received New York State approval for our suite of uh, SNP products. Uh, we call them the Combi SNP for single nucleotide polymorphism. Uh, why that's important is, you know, New York is clearly one of the uh, always on the front, of the cutting edge of uh, new technologies, particularly in the prenatal diagnostics arena, 21 million people here in the state. Um, and they're also very judicious about what laboratories that they uh, approve. So we consider that a fair uh, feather in our cap that we're doing things the right way. We're also uh, uh, certified by CLIA and CAP, which are governing bodies for our business. So when you go out to market your product, and your service, because obviously they're tied together. How do you reach the clinics and how do you reach the doctors and the hospitals, et cetera? What's the, you know, what's your outbound marketing campaign about? Yeah, so um, what we do is we have a direct sales organization and we leverage partners. On our direct sales team, we have 18 people that are inside sales and outside sales. And we also have partners with Sequinome is a company that's in our space that has a non-invasive prenatal test. And so there's a great marriage between the prenatal diagnostic with the non-invasive test. Mm -hmm. That extends our reach and frequency about 5X. We also have pathology partnerships, which are local laboratories that see a lot of miscarriage business in their own markets that we've teamed up with because they can't afford the microarray technology in their own market for their volume but consolidated, it works real well. So it's been, uh, it's been great for us. 90% of our revenue comes from our direct team and about 10% from partners. Which do you think is going to grow greater? I, I'd like to see them both grow. <laughs> uh, but now we are, uh, we just invested in, uh, in our sales organization. We just completed a training. You know, you go from 11 to 18, you got to consider that we're a lean company, but that's, uh, you know, I don't have my math right on, but that's about a 40% increase in the sales force. So we think our direct sales team is going to really contribute at the end of this year and into next year. So let's come back to the products and the services. What's unique? What's different? What's proprietary? What's your patent portfolio? And do you have an ongoing research and development department? Yes. So five questions. We'll try to get all of them. They're good. So um, what's unique about what we do? So our, I should say our, our product approach right now is we've been using microarray technology, which basically gives a high resolution look at the genomic picture. There are other companies that also offer microarray technology, but it's still a, a handful of companies. It's not 
you know, 50, 100, whatever. Um, but more importantly, it's how you deliver these results on the back end. So with our genetic counseling support, and we are answering complicated issues and questions, how we deliver that information is equally as important as determining that information to us. So we have the technology um, that delivers the information to our physician team really well, and then we think we differentiate ourselves by our high-touch approach and uh, how we deliver the results back. From an R&D perspective, we uh, just launched three new tests in the last nine months, and we're continuing to invest, but you know, prudently, as in, we're not profitable yet, and we're, we're striving to get to profitability, so we're prudently investing, but we should have two new products out in the next nine to 12 months. I don't want to ask you about those because you might not be able to tell me, so let's ask this question. 2016 is around the corner. Um, what's on your radar for 2016 for the company? Uh, that's a great question. So I think, number one, we feel, as you alluded to earlier, that we're in four nice size markets, that we're adding value, that we have the right technology for the time. We're not behind the time. We're not too far ahead of ourselves. We have reimbursable tests. It's really about execution on the four uh, markets we're in with the new tests we've developed and the current tests we have, and then bring up the complementary tests as fast as we can. One of the advantages of being a 64-person company, um, it's a lot of fun when you're in a, a lean company, but one of the advantages also is you can be nimble, and we need to just execute on the game plan. If we do that right, we should be okay. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get more information out there. Please give us your website if you would. All right. It's uh, www.combimatrix.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark McDonough, Combi Matrix. The symbol is CBMX. It's a publicly traded company. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live on location in New York City. Mark, thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you, Shelley.